What's going on guys? Today we will list the most popular and best CTF platforms for those who want to learn cybersecurity and ethical hacking. I tried to consolidate this list as much as I can and of course I am human, which means I may have forgotten other platforms. So feel free to comment your thoughts in the comments. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Let's start with TryHackMe. TryHackMe is an interactive cybersecurity training platform designed for all skill levels from absolute beginners to experienced professionals. Try Hack Me provides a gamified learning experience where users work through rooms and paths to practice real-world cybersecurity skills. Of particular mention is Try Hack Me Learning Paths. These are structured learning tracks that guide users through specific cybersecurity topics, such as Try Hack Me Pre-Security, which is very recommended for starters in cybersecurity, Try Hack Me OCP Path, and also Try Hack Me Cyber Defense Path. Next comes Try Hack Me Rooms, which mimic virtual classrooms with themed challenges and tasks, along with questions to answer to demonstrate your understanding of each task. Try Hack Me offers an attack box, which is a pre-configured browser-based virtual machine that users can deploy to complete labs and challenges. Perfect for those who don't have a local virtual lab on their desktop machines. Try Hack Me has become very popular as it is tailored for newcomers to cybersecurity, offering detailed explanations, hints, and guided labs. You still can also find advanced and difficult challenges, though. Recently, Try Hack Me has launched the SOC simulator, which mimics a physical SOC where you investigate alerts, triage them, and find the root cause of compromise. I recommend you to check it out if you aim to learn practical blue teaming. Hack the Box offers a wide range of virtual labs and challenges that simulate real-world hacking scenarios. It's perfect for those looking to sharpen their penetration testing skills through hands-on experience. In Hack the Box, machines are designed to simulate vulnerable systems and they vary in difficulty and type, covering topics like web apps, networking, reverse engineering, cryptography, and more. Next we have Hack the Box Challenges which are standalone problems that focus on specific skills, such as web exploitation, forensics, or reverse engineering. Then we have Hack the Box Pro Labs. These are advanced, in-depth labs that simulate real-world corporate networks. The goal is to practice attacking a network, pivoting through systems, and compromising the entire infrastructure. I recommend Hack the Box Pro Labs after you have used to practicing with machines and challenges. And of course, I didn't forget Hack the Box Academy. The Academy is a structured learning platform for mastering penetration testing and cybersecurity concepts. It contains guided lessons and tracks with interactive labs for different skill levels. If you are studying for Hack the Box CPTS, then the Academy is a good place to start. All right, have you ever heard of Pico CTF? Pico CTF presents users with a series of challenges, each of which involves solving a specific cybersecurity problem. These challenges are organized into various categories, such as web exploitation, cryptography, binary exploitation, and other categories such as forensics. PicoCTF has a narrative-driven theme where you act as a hacker solving problems in a fictional world. The challenge comes with an educational goal to help learners understand the underlying cybersecurity principles. Anyway, PicoCTF is perfect for students, educators, beginners, and CTF competitions enthusiasts the latter can participate in PICO CTF's annual CTF competitions that attract participants worldwide. All right, next there is Parrot CTF. Parrot CTF is also a gamified cybersecurity training platform designed for individuals and teams to practice ethical hacking, penetration testing, and cybersecurity skills. Parrot CTF provides a virtual platform where users solve challenges in various categories, such as web exploitation, reverse engineering, and others. Solving challenges earns points, which determine your rank on the platform leaderboard as with other platforms. Like Pico CTF, Parrot CTF hosts CTF events on a regular basis. The next on this list is a bit an old warrior, but Over the Wire stays an excellent choice for those who want to learn ethical hacking. Over the Wire is a free and contains war games, which are hands-on exercises where players solve challenges by applying a mix of programming, system administration, and ethical hacking techniques. Each war game consists of multiple levels, where you solve a challenge to gain access to the next level. These levels are hosted on Over the Wire servers, and you interact with them using tools like SSH to perform various tasks. 
For example, over-the-wire bandit challenges introduce beginners to Linux command line skills and basic cybersecurity concepts. Once you learn basic Linux skills, over-the-wire Leviathan builds on the basics of Bandit with slightly more advanced challenges. Overt the Wire is perfect for beginners and those with no prior experience. It's free and accessible to everyone. Another old friend here is Volnhub, and many professionals started learning cybersecurity by using this platform. Volnhub is a free platform that provides vulnerable virtual machines for practicing ethical hacking, penetration testing, and cybersecurity skills. The VMs simulate real-world scenarios, allowing users to gain hands-on experience in identifying, exploiting, and mitigating vulnerabilities in a safe and legal environment. One thing you have to know, or you may already know, is that in Volnhub, you have to download the machines locally to your computer and add it to your existing lab settings. These VMs are usually packaged in formats compatible with virtualization software like VirtualBox or VMware. After downloading, you can import the VM into your virtualization software and set up a secure, isolated network environment. Volnhub is recommended for everyone, from beginners to advanced learners. Now, most of the platforms we covered so far focus on offensive security, except Hack the Box and Try Hack Me, which cover all areas. In the domain of blue teaming and digital forensics, there is Cyber Defenders Platform, which is an online platform focused on providing hands-on challenges and training in the area of blue teaming and defensive security. These challenges often require analyzing logs, investigating memory dumps, or conducting forensic investigations. The challenges contain labs, which are designed to simulate real-world scenarios, such as investigating a compromised system or analyzing suspicious network traffic. Cyber Defenders is for those who are looking to learn or sharpen their blue team skills. Similar to Cyber Defenders in terms of focus, there is Let's Defend Platform, which is an interactive cybersecurity training platform focused on blue team skills, particularly security operations center roles. Let's Defend provides a virtual SOC environment where users interact with tools and workflows similar to those used in professional settings. If you have watched my Let's Defend walkthroughs, you already have seen that IF offers a security operations center simulator where you investigate alerts, use available virtual analyst machines, analyze logs, and write a case report. Let's Defend also offers guided training paths for different skill levels and roles, such as SOC Analyst, 1 and 2, and Incident Responder paths. So that was it. Free free to comment your thoughts about other platforms I may have missed. Thank you.